What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. TPCI, the Pokemon Company International, sent out this core player survey about the Pokemon trading card game, the players' experiences, the consumers' experiences in the past couple of years or so of the Pokemon TCG. It's very exciting that they sent out this survey and they constructed this survey because of the questions they're asking. Um, it means that they care, or at least at the at the very least, they want to seem like they care, but I and uh, i tend to believe that they do care and they want to hear what we think about these things probably they've gotten complaints and some isolated feedback from people like myself that you know actually send in support tickets and make a big stink about things and they probably want to hear well is this the majority's opinion or is this just these couple top players that are very opinionated opinions so i'm happy they did this um, and it also alludes to the fact that they have some leverage over card design or game design uh things like that which in the past i've been iffy on does tpci actually have any say in what creatures incorporated creates in the pokemon tcg and now i i think we can safely say that they do creatures inc might have the last say we don't really know how that works the hierarchy of all of that but tpci definitely is in there you know with the game design a little bit uh even if it's just to give opinions and feedback they're definitely doing some work with that um so i already took the survey so i opened this up in a uh in a different browser so we can look at it again because you can't take the survey twice uh the link has been shared numerous times across social media so although this was a survey email emailed out to players individually people have shared the link and you can just take the survey whoever whoever wants to can take it so i'll leave the link down below um in case the survey is still open when you're watching this video i just wanted to talk about it and discuss it and i will say please if you have not taken the survey yet and you plan on taking it go click the link down there and take the survey before you listen to me talk about my opinions because i don't want you to just regurgitate what i have to say about it so i'm going to talk about what i said on the survey and just some of the uh you know oh they asked this question so that makes me think x y and z are possibilities in the future for the game uh, so I just wanted to talk about that. So that's why you see kind of like an unfinished survey here, because I'm just going to go through this and then not submit it because I already submitted my survey in a different browser. Okay, so let's let's dig in uh, on behalf of everyone at the Pokemon Company International. Thank you for your interest in this player feedback survey. We would like to know what you, a player of the Pokemon trading card game, think about the current state of the game. As a thank you for completing the survey, we would like to offer Pokemon trading card game online codes, blah, blah, blah. TBCI is using this. It's voluntary, etc. Um, I, I I just think it's so it's incredible. This was like a dream come true to have this, um, to you know talk about the current state of the game and hear read TPCI saying current state of the game because TPCI doesn't really get involved in like the meta and standard format and you know uh balance and stuff like that they don't really get involved in talking and discussing those kinds of things like I always hope they do um you'll hear me uh talk about like Mort Dog the developer of Team Fight Tactics he has a YouTube channel where he he uh, for, you know he's an employee of Riot Games but he has a YouTube channel where he discusses the meta games and the patch notes he's like oh we messed up here it was completely unbalanced so we're fixing it over here and this is how um and you know it's super hard for a physical card game company to be like that um but i hope that they get as close as they can to communicating really well with their players because pokemon's such a great franchise and part of it that's so great is the community but i've always felt like there's such a disconnect like there's like so little connect between the company and the community so i hope this uh bridges that gap a little so you'll see it says three out of 41 answered because i think uh i already started filling this out i already started going through this on my stream the other day um so first question the first few questions are just kind of gauging like who you are so they can take this into account when you're answering uh where do you usually play uh i usually play at home because i test on ptcgo and skype who do you play with i play with family because my mom uh the most i play with my mom because she plays competitively uh how often do you play blah 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 how did you learn i learned when i was six out of the starter deck um actually so i guess that means rule book um none of this is really important though 
I will just check everything so we can move on with the survey. I'm just going through all this so we can move through the survey. Um, yeah, I play these things, okay. Um, okay, next. Okay, so here's where it starts getting interesting. Have you played standard format Pokemon TCG in the past two years? If you answer no, it asks you why. Um, so I'm going to say yes. Which of the following would improve your enjoyment playing standard? Select all that apply. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is where it starts getting interesting. This is where I was like, ah, oh, yes, let me uh, let me type TPCI a book. And hopefully by extensions, Creatures, Inc., a book. Um, so I definitely didn't check nothing to format as good as is. I don't care about easier access because they've done that extremely well for standard format. I don't want different set legality or rotation, except like, because even if they rotate Sword and Shield on, we still have three price Pokemon, and I think three price Pokemon compromise the integrity of the Pokemon TCG. More cards banned, unless they're going to ban every single three price Pokemon out there, I don't want more bans. Um, it just makes it confusing for new players, and it's unnecessary because I don't think there's a single card you can ban right now that takes care of things. And I know some people will disagree with me on that and say, oh, ADP needs to be banned. Yeah, ADP is a toxic card, but I think, you know, to bring the game down to a reasonable speed, anything like it used to be, you also should probably need to ban, you know, Pikaram and Eternatus. Because if Eternatus is gone, then Hammers aren't as good. Um, if you ban Pikaram, then things slow down. If you ban Luke Metal, then some of the more fringe Vs and Vmaxes can actually be played. Um, okay. So, uh, more cards banned. Sometimes this could work. Right now, I don't think we're in a current situation where a reasonable amount of cards banned where a realistic amount of cards being banned would fix the format. Excuse me. Um, so other, other please specify. This is where I, uh, I went in here. I wrote something along the lines of, I believe that three prize Pokemon are compromising the integrity of the Pokemon TCG. I've been playing since base set off and on casually and competitively, and never have I felt like games were more out of my control, were over faster and more volatile, uh, not based on the decisions I'm making and just based on uh, the power level of these large basic Pokemon that we're slapping down. I think standard format needs more evolutions and uh, we need to eradicate three prize Pokemon eventually. Yeah. I said something along the lines of that. So um, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to say that and we'll move on. Or I'll, I'll, I'll say this and move on. I don't think that actually changes the next question. Have you played expanded format? Yes, I have. Um, which of the following would improve your enjoyment playing expanded? So here, um, I think they've done very well with actually banning expanded format cards while we're not even having official tournaments. That was a huge thing for me. I was like, oh my god, wait, they, they do care. They get they care about expanded format. This is crazy. Um, because I didn't expect that. Some I, I I wouldn't even be mad at them if they said, Well, well, there's no expanded tournament, so we're not even gonna ban it. I wouldn't even personally be mad at that because that would be a reasonable thing to do. And they went uh over the line of what they needed to do and they did more so I, I was really happy about that um okay so i think so many things could be done to expand the format um it's such it's a decade plus of cards at this point um i i did check easier access to cards needed to build decks because this is what stops expanded regionals from being bigger and what stops uh expanded being an online competitive series so like they can't re i don't think they would do the players cup expanded because uh a specs are going to go through the roof tropical beach already is like 100 to 200 packs i think for one copy of the card um and now you don't need tropical beach for 90 95 percent of decks and expanded um but if people want to have stall control and mill as choices or even some kind of setup reliant deck that wants a beach or two in there uh they're going to have to play with a suboptimal list without it or they're going to have to buy i don't know 600 to 800 codes to get a play set of uh tropical beach online uh th things like champions festival if that ever became meta for a reason that would spike like i said all the a specs that are played like dowsing machine computer search even scramble switch is kind of hard to get i think on ptcgo um and then in uh irl what i would like to see for those kind of cards is like a master set so if you play magic the gathering something like ultimate masters 
but you know for expanded cards make put every a spec plus champions festival plus tropical beach in there and make it like a one to two pull rate in every box so like if if you buy a bunch of boxes maybe you'll buy you'll pull a tropical beach but what it would do is make them lower in the market so more players can buy them um it's not so everybody buys a box and gets tropical beach you know so i'd like to see something like that um more cards banned i, I i'm fine with because it's such a big set but i also want less cards banned because i think they need to reevaluate some things um and and other i just specified you know about the distribution of cards like tropical beach world's promos a specs um so I, I did specify that in there uh do, 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 do. waiting for it to load what other formats have you played well, i haven't played build and battle um i haven't played draft because draft in the pokemon tcg is not very good um i specified other so i said um you know 2007 2010 uh 2017 naic uh 2015 worlds 2018 worlds i just listed a bunch of like older formats that i play um and then i also said um rs ruby sapphire through power keepers the ex all format on tcg1 um how much do you enjoy playing so um so here this one's interesting so i said somewhat enjoyable for standard because i love the pokemon trading card game and there are moments when i enjoy it and that now this could be because i'm streaming and i'm having fun with my community or um i'm playing some fun deck that i would never take to a real tournament but i'm doing it for a video so i'm having i'm, in, I'm actually enjoying it so yes i somewhat enjoy standard format but i think there's environmental factors that are going into it i'm a content creator i'm making fun decks i'm playing with people i'm pl you know um expanded i said either moderately or very enjoyable but i wanted to keep myself in check because i think i'm enjoying expanded format more because of it's how it's compared to standard right now so i said i think i said moderately because like if standard was very very good i might like not even like expanded at all like if we were playing you know uh breakthrough through ultra prism right now i might not enjoy expanded at all because standard's so good um not at all enjoyable not at all enjoyable uh how important are each of these story and art um very important self-expression and creativity extremely so self-expression and creativity i took this as like skill expression and creating creative decks and rogue decks and being able to not just play one deck to win that's what i took with that uh social interaction pokemon tcg uh, outside of uh my graduate program and my family and my internship and my girlfriend uh, like basically all my social interaction is uh pokemon tcg uh competition extremely important and collecting collecting i probably would have said not at all important before this year but this year i got very into collecting so extremely important uh how interested would you be to play these hypothetical um if it was better i'd be moderately i'd be somewhat interested in booster i'd be extremely interested in cube cube is great like if they brought cube to ptcgo the way magic arena and magic online does oh count me in uh singleton constructed yeah very interested evolution constructed no multiple prize pokemon allowed <sighs> yes i'd be very interested now here's my caveat to evolution constructed i would prefer they um I would prefer that they cultivate a standard format where we don't have to exclude all of the chase cards, all of these cards that are supposed to be the strong highlights of the sets. So if they're putting the cards in standard format, I think we should have a healthy, fun, enjoyable format with the cards in it. Um, I don't think we should have to exclude all of these fancy cards cards the cards that are supposed to be good just to enjoy the game in this no multi-prize pokemon allowed now do i currently enjoy the single prize format better like we played in the omni poke online play league yes yes i do i i enjoyed that better than current standard format but ideally 
there would be a world where they we don't have to exclude all of these kinds of cards um, just to enjoy the format. Um, and you've heard me talk about the formats I enjoy on this channel so much. So if you uh, haven't, if, if you're new here, go check out the card design playlist on my channel. Um, is it easy to understand the structure? Yes, it's pretty simple. How satisfied are you with the prize support currently offered? Um, um, between moderately and very, it's 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 fine. It's not something I complain about. What is one thing you would improve? Uh, ranked PTCGO ladder, ranked PTCGO ladder, ranked PTCGO ladder. That's what I wrote here. Um, how often do you buy new Pokemon cards? Um, I answered this as if I wasn't in a pandemic. I said uh, at least once a week. But honestly, during the pandemic, I've also been buying investments and collecting once a week. So, yeah, once a week. How much do you spend per month on Pokemon TCG products, not singles? Um, 250 plus. I spent, I don't know, I bought it. I bought more than a case of Vivid Voltage last month. And then not even including all the early trainer boxes. Yeah. Enough. Where do you purchase Pokemon TCG products? Um, local game store, if, you know... We're not in a pandemic. Amazon and other. Because, uh, you know, Furbank, Pokemart, and eBay. Which of the following TCG expansion products have you bought? Okay, none of this really applies to what we're talking about today. Um, like, this isn't really... Uh, none of this is really game design or anything I'm super interested in. How happy were you with these products? Um, Trainer's Toolkit was 10 out of 10. League Battle Decks, 10 out of 10. I don't uh, build them, but yeah, I don't really care about the rest. Trainer's Toolkit and League Battle Decks, they knocked out of the park. Are you, how happy are you with the current design direction of the game overall? Well, TPCI, you smartly did not leave a little writing box for this one. Not at all satisfied. Now, if, uh, I, I was tempted to say somewhat satisfied because this survey came out after the Battle Styles trailer, I believe. And I am somewhat satisfied with how it looks like the direction of the game is going uh, as of Battle Styles. But we still have three prize Pokemon. I am satisfied. How happy are you overall with the set design for each of the following expansions? This was hard for me because I actually enjoyed a lot of cards from certain expansions, but not... If I have to rate them as a whole, I am just, you know, I'm unhappy that there's three prize Pokemon in the game. I think that just ruins what Pokemon TCG is. It doesn't feel like Pokemon TCG anymore. Like, they, they really went overboard. Um, I probably said moderately satisfied, moderately satisfied, somewhat satisfied, not at all satisfied. Because Champion's Path was not a player set, it was just collecting, so I... Why would I be satisfied with this? As you know, that's not really set design that I care about. And then Vivid Voltage, I probably said somewhat or moderately because Vivid Voltage, I love the card design in it. How happy are you with the design of each of these card types? Uh, somewhat satisfied for these. You know, they're not pushing them far enough, but they can't push them too far. Um, or then they'll get out of hand if they ever do eradicate three price Pokemon V and V max. I think I said not at all um, Item supporters and special energies supporters I was not satisfied with because of things like research and boss that are just like, you know Copy paste of old cards and they're super super linear Items I was pretty happy with and special energy extremely satisfied because I've been liking all of the different special energies They've been giving us uh, It's like Every type has a unique thing, although some are better than others. I still enjoy that. This doesn't matter to me. That doesn't matter to me. How interested would you be in these Pokemon TCG offerings? Expansion set designed for booster draft. Moderately to vary. Expanded format reprint expansion set. Hmm. Ultimate expanded masters, do you say? Extremely interested. Uh, casual kitchen table or multiplayer product. I see this as being like a cube box, like a pre-made cube. And if that's what they mean by that, ooh, ooh, count me in. Uh, premium all foil. Yeah, that sounds cool. Uh, and not at all on that. Okay, what is one thing that would improve your overall satisfaction with Pokemon TCG products? Um, gosh, what did I even say here? I might have said something about PTCGO. I, I, I might have just said PTCGO ranked ladder all over again. I'm not really sure. Or maybe even just better communication from the card designers. Um, these are just product questions. Oh, this, it requires I answer... 
these to move on, doesn't it? We'll just, uh... We'll just click some things, because we're not... Remember, remember, guys, I'm not submitting this survey. I'm just, uh, going through so I can get to the next page and go over it with you all. And also, let me know after you take the survey, which, like I said, stop the video if you didn't take the survey yet, go take it, and then come back, because I don't want to uh, influence your opinions. I want you to have your own individual, unique opinions independent opinions that that was the answer and then come back and we can discuss what i said and what you said um yeah but let me know down below you know what you said uh and this is oh this is just some optional questions okay thank you okay great and then it asks you for your username and so they can send you packs. So that that's the survey. I hope you guys take it. Um, let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to elaborate on. But like I said, go to my channel and check out uh, the playlists and go to the card design playlist if you wanted some more of this kind of talk because I have a lot of videos there and it's always growing. Uh, I'm trying to put out a lot more card design videos because I'm really pleased with how you guys have received them. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas if you celebrate, and uh, I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network. Peace.